Hey guys, while well, we got rained out here <coughs> over at the shooting shack, uh, it occurred to me I'd take a minute and maybe just talk a little bit. I don't do that very often. Uh, and today, what I was thinking about is gunman etiquette. Uh, <coughs> if you are truly a Second Amendment supporter, if you really are a gun uh, supporter uh, in the gun community, I want you to give a lot of thought, perhaps, to uh, the image that you convey as a gun supporter or Second Amendment supporter. <clears throat> you know, keeping in mind that there's two different audiences out there, uh, well three if you count our supporters, but there's, there's two other audiences out there for us. Those that uh, are already against the Second Amendment, those that are anti-gun. Um, and then there's the other crowd uh, that is neutral on the idea that might still be <coughs> choosing to have no opinion, um, thinking that it, it's, it's out there, it's you know, give, it or, give or take, or that are on the fence trying to decide where they feel, uh, how they feel on that issue. And you know, to that end, every time we use foul language or uh, we act inappropriate in public, um, you know, depending on maybe what kind of language we have on a shirt um, and, and, and how we speak, everything down to shooting at road signs or throwing appliances out in the country and shooting them up and leaving them there, leaving spent casings and trash when you go out to a range and shoot, um, clear down to even debates among our own people. Um, you know, hunters arguing with the, the tactical guys about whether they should have assault rifles or, um, you know, arguing, you know, myopically about one brand being superior to another and then denouncing the, the, everybody else uh, and using inappropriate language to do it. You know, those kinds of arguments and that kind of behavior um, really doesn't help any of us out. Uh, when it comes to the other side looking at us and those on the fence looking at us and trying to make an assessment of what kind of people we are, what it really means uh, to be a Second Amendment enthusiast. I can't tell you guys what to do. Um, you're, you're free to do it, but you know, with freedom comes responsibility. And, and if you want the, uh, you know, the freedom to shoot and the freedom to speak out on, on Second Amendment and gun rights, Walk the walk too, you know, don't just talk the talk. I think that we have to be unified. I think that we have to be respectful. I think we have to be um, an entity and a concept that is palatable to um, the general public. Um, and that we, and I think we can do so without uh, compromising or giving up on any of those rights just by, by having an appearance and conduct that is respectable. I don't mean to be on a soapbox, I don't do that very often, but again, I got a little bit rained out this afternoon. I'm going to let it dry up and then we'll go back to shooting, but in the meantime, just thought I'd give you a comment. Um, you know, in, in the old days, there was a phrase, don't scare the horses. Um, and I think when we, as Second Amendment and gun enthusiasts, are out in the public um, and uh, we, we banter about... Um, you know, when we talk amongst ourselves, when, and sometimes people overhear us, um, I think we I think we can scare the horses, so to speak. Um, you know, the idea when you're around a horse is to be calm, be respectful of the animal, um, no sudden movements, no loud noises. The idea is that certainly you can do those things, but there's no need to if what you're wanting to do is 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 get the horse to respond to you favorably. You got to think of that when we when we're dealing with. Uh, you know, these, these people out in the community that are not gun enthusiasts and Second Amendment supporters that are kind of on a fence. Every time they interact with us, every time they see us interacting with each other, we need to not scare the horses. Um, portray ourselves in a way that's very palatable and, and uh, they will be much more responsive. When they contemplate legislative issues that affect us and what they think back on are the 10 or 12 times that they've interacted with somebody from the gun community. Um, you know, you want to be listed in their minds in one of their interactions with you being one of the reasons that, that they're deciding to vote against us on a legislative issue. I don't want to be that guy. 
food for thought, folks. See you later.